These clips were filmed using a camera trap, a camera that senses movement and heat and films when triggered. These animals, called tapirs, are the largest native animal of the Andes, and yet they're the least well known. There are four species of tapir in the world, three species which live in South America, this one, another which lives in the coastal region and Central America, another which lives in the jungle in the Amazon region, and another species which lives on the other side of the world in Malaysia. Of these, the woolly mountain tapir is the smallest and the one most at risk of extinction. There are perhaps less than 2,500 left, and some of them we see here in Sixipamba. These tapirs can grow up to 6 feet long and 3 feet tall at the shoulder. They can weigh in over 500 pounds. They pass through this area often because it is a salt lick. They obtain minerals from the rocks that are necessary for their health. Tapirs are herbivores. They browse leaves and twigs in the montane forests and high altitude wetlands of the Andes. They are very timid, and it is rare to see one in the wild. Each time that I went to check on the camera, they sensed the disturbance and did not pass for at least a week afterwards. Although it is not common to see a tapir face to face, it is easy to identify their tracks. They have four large toes on their front feet and three on their back feet. The females usually give birth once every other year. Gestation lasts for over a year, nearly 13 months. The mother cares for her young for about 18 months, and they can live up to 27 years. The last time I went to check on the camera, I found tree stumps along the path, and the tapirs had not passed by for over a month. Through deforestation, poaching, and the destruction of their habitat, we humans are driving this species to extinction. These tapirs will not survive if we do not conserve their habitat.